The fruit doctor is back and he's here to eat some fruit. I mean, save some fruit, obviously. Hello, everybody. I'm Kylie Keen and I am the fruit doctor, saving fruit lives so that they can be eaten later. I love this description. Fruit and vegetables have ailments as well. Become the food doctor and help fruits and veggies with whatever checkup they need. Help eggplants give birth, give bananas stitches, or patch up a boo-boo on an apple. So many foods need your help and it's up to you, the fruit surgeon, to help them. It's me, Dr. Fruit. Welcome, welcome to my clinic. Let's save some fruits. Okay, we're starting with the apple. He looks like he's in a bad way. What's going on, buddy? I'm cutting you open to see what's happening. You, I just, I didn't do anything. I just cut you open so that I could stitch you back up. It's just a practice apple. Well, at least he's happy about it. Customer's always right. He just, he just wanted to experience the pain of being stitched up. All right. I love this. Uh, shoop. I'll head to the shoop as soon as I have more money. Let's take on our next customer. It's a, it's a banana. <laughs> He looks like he's having a real bad day. I gotta get this worm out of his chest, which to be fair, if I had a worm in my chest, I would probably be feeling pretty bad too. And now this banana is in love with me. I think every fruit that I'm about to save is going to fall in love with me. I guess I just have that kind of effect on fruit. Fair enough. Oh, this is strawberry. I'm sorry. What's going on with you? Am I just cutting you open for the sake of cutting you open? No. Oh, no. No. That's... You got... You got worms. You got... Oh... Can we just can we just put this strawberry in the compost? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I mean, do you have feelings? Do you have a family? No one's gonna eat you. Maybe that's a good thing for the strawberry. Live out your life. Oh, we're so close to $300 so we can shoop, shoop the whoop. What are you? Are you just like a, a mango? An unripe ma mango? Aren't mangoes? Mangoes are orange, but they're green when they start out, right? How do I put the worm down? <laughs> can't put the worm down. All right. Maybe you're a watermelon. I don't know. I guess we'll see once we... Nope. You're not a watermelon. What are you? A cantaloupe? As long as you're a fruit, you're welcomed here. I don't know how to save the lives of any other type of living creature. If you can call fruits living. I'm glad that I saved you and now you're in love with me. Let's go shoop. What can we shoop for? Ah, a medical kit. That makes sense. You should have a medical kit in your fruit doctor clinic. That's a pear. I love a good pear. Now I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't be talking about getting hungry to eat fruit while I'm saving the life of a actual fruit. It's a little insensitive, but a good pear goes a long way. I'm just saying. I'm just saying this is good. This is a good fruit. If it's, if it's nice and ripe. Oh man, I can't stop talking about how delicious pears are now. How messed up would it be if I save these fruits, stick them in the fridge, and then eat them the next day? I'm a monster. I'm sorry I even thought about that. These poor fruits, they have feelings. Let's keep it going. We gotta get to 500 so we can shoop. Oh, oh, not this again. Why do, why do fruits get pimples? Oh gosh. I love one hand. You just, you hold that thumb good and steady. And then the other finger, that's where the real action comes into play. You squeeze that bad boy until it explodes. Oh. Why that noise? Why you gotta make that noise? Anyways, orange, you doing okay? Doing good? You got worms? You got pimples? No one's gonna eat you. But I see, the thing is, is a fruit going through this kind of like medical treatment so that they are edible again? Does a fruit that has feelings and a face and, and arms, does it want to be eaten? Is that their goal? These are questions that I need to ask the fruits, but they never respond back. This is important stuff. Anyways, let's, okay, you're, you're a coconut. I feel like a scalpel could get through a coconut, but maybe it's a very strong scalpel. It is. It's a very effective scalpel. We got to remove these seeds. They're, they're seeds, dude. Aren't you supposed to have seeds? Well, maybe. No, now that I think about it, coconuts do not have seeds. I think, in fact, I think like the coconut itself is the seed of a coconut tree. Is that true? Honestly, as a fruit doctor, I should probably know this. Like I did just pull things out of this coconut acting like I knew what I was doing. But in reality, I didn't actually know what I was taking out of the coconut 
Maybe he just had rocks in there. You know, you ever shake a coconut, you get the swish from the water, but if it starts clanking around, you know something's up with that coconut. It ain't right. See, these are the important questions that you want your fruit surgeon to be asking. Although, to be honest, I feel like I should be the one answering those questions, but let's ignore that for now and just give tomato an injection of serum. <laughs> I don't know. It's Hey, you have seeds too. Wait, if you're if you're a tomato, you're supposed to have seeds. And even if you're not a tomato and you're actually just an apple, you're also supposed to have seeds. Well, now, now I'm concerned that I'm doing something bad for these fruits and they don't know it. Don't tell them. I can shoop. Let's do it. What is that? An air purifier? Fruits want to breathe fresh air. Maybe they have allergies. Could you imagine being a fruit that was allergic to like pollen? Also, this is a disgusting coconut. Like absolutely foul. And I hope that he didn't hear me. You're good to go, bud. You're the best. And you definitely weren't gross. Next. Ah, this banana has hair. <laughs> That's... <laughs> that ain't normal. And and some kind of growth that is also not normal. You shouldn't have hair growing out of a banana. I don't care who your doctor is. Just throw that banana away. We got another apple. Apples, man. No one's taking care. Oh, it's a baby apple. It's so cute. I don't think that's where baby apples come from. You know what? It is today. That's adorable. I love it. Hold your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Your baby apple. Someone might eat it. You don't care. She's just in love with me. What can I say? That's a nasty looking lemon. Gosh, what are these fruits doing? I mean, these are literally, I, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna. These are literally the fruits that you find that fell off of a tree. They're on the ground. No one wants to eat those. I'm sorry, Mr. Lemon. That's why I'm whispering so he doesn't hear me. I would never say that stuff directly in the face of the fruits that I'm working on. That would be awful. You're an orange. You're disgusting. You're making me want to throw up. Why do you have hair coming out of your skin? It's not normal. Was that me? Was that too, too far? He's in pain. Look at his face. But if I insult him, maybe it'll distract him from the pain. <laughs> I don't think it's working. I don't think this is working. All right, let's 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 get these seeds out of you. I, I'm going to go with the concept that these aren't actually seeds. They're just like rocks that got shoved into these fruits somehow, which is very sad for the fruits. But again, these are all fruits that fell off the tree and nobody wants them. What are you? You're a plum. You have a worm. He's your friend. He wants to stay there forever. Why would you want the worm removed? Your best pals. Also, you've got little little baby worms. Gross. <laughs> As I was saying it, I realized what I was saying was disgusting, yet I continued saying it. We can shoop. Let's do it. A clock. Now I know when to actually go home. But there are more fruits to save. We must continue working. Why you got pimples? Fruits aren't supposed to have pimples. There's no going back. Once you're a fruit with pimples, you're just, you're not meant for consumption. You're meant for a compost pile. I'm sorry. I, I'm so insensitive. As a fruit doctor, I should be a little bit more sensitive about my patients, but I can't help it. They're disgusting. It's not my fault. And the ones that aren't disgusting, I'm just going to stick them in the fridge and eat them tomorrow. Yep, I said it. It's the truth. What can I say? I got to get something for all my hard work. Why not be some delicious fruit? All right, let's get these rocks out of the pineapple. I don't know how they got there, but they got to go. They got to go. We got to save this guy. All right, stitch you up. You're good. Band-aid you up. Why do some of the fruits get band-aids, but some of them don't? Like I've stitched up a couple of fruits and I don't give them band-aid. I just Nobody send them off on their way. Oh, look. <laughs> they need a fruit doctor. Those strawberries needed a fruit doctor. Desperately. Not a refrigerator. They needed me. Anyways, I'm competing directly with Bosch refrigerators. They're taking my job away by making fruit fresher longer. This coconut has hair, which is kind of okay. Like, I don't mind if a coconut is a little fuzzy, but if an orange has hair or a banana has hair, that ain't right. Go get yourself a new banana. You look like you're having a very bad day. Something about like the way that the, the banana is laying makes it even worse. It's just like he's in just excruciating pain. I think this guy has worms. 
Yup, get the worms. And now you're ready to get thrown away. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm being so mean to these fruit. They're paying my bills. And to be fair, these fruit actually are good for the money, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Cause what are they doing? What kind of jobs does a fruit have? I guess if you have, I guess if you have arms and, and hands, you could do a lot of stuff. He could be like one of those, those uh, courtroom clerks. What are they called? A stenographer? Is that right? I don't know if that's right, but they're the people who write basically everything that's said in a courtroom. I would love to see a pair doing that. That would make me very happy. Can I be a fruit lawyer? Let's make that game. I mean, I love being a fruit doctor, but what if I was actually like in a courtroom of fruits trying to save the innocent. That's a good game idea. I'm just saying. Can I make it? No, but I can pitch it. What's going on here? You got a lot of stuff going on. You've been you've been laying out on the yard way too long. And I hate to say it, but I don't think anybody wants to eat you. But again, I don't know if that's the goal of like, is that what fruits want? Do they want to be eaten or do they not want to be? Eaten? If they don't want to be eaten, maybe they shouldn't come to me. Maybe they should stay kind of gross. That's a great way to not get eaten. But on the flip side, it does seem kind of painful. Whatever kind of ailments they're experiencing. What's going on here? You're an orange in excruciating pain. You have rocks. I've diagnosed your problem. There are rocks inside of you. Get them out. I'm a doctor. A lot of really rotten fruits around here. I don't like having to inject them. What am I even injecting them with? How is that solving the problem? Gosh, you've got a lot of rocks. That's right, Dr. Kean is on the job. What's the problem, doctor? He has a lot of rocks. I've solved it. I'm basically like the doctor house, but of fruits. It's Guillain Beret. No, it's rocks. It's lupus. Uh-uh, there's gross little worms growing inside of that fruit. I can diagnose any ailment that a fruit faces. <sighs> We can shoop. Let's do it. What do you got? A bookshelf. Now people will think I'm smart. Notice they'll think I'm smart. I got all these fruits fooled. They think I'm a real doctor. Oh man, joke's on them. I'm just a dude with a scalpel and a vacuum for sucking out worms. Gross. Save this pineapple. He's in so much pain. I want to do more uh, fruit baby deliveries. I feel like that's something that I can feel really good about. Like saving fruit baby lives. What a great thing to be a part of. I want to do more of that. Ew. Why does the strawberry have pimples? I just, why? I don't care that you have faces or arms, which is obviously a little weird. I don't know where you were grown. Probably very close to some radioactivity. But why you got pimples? Hey, it's a coconut with hair. That's fine. We don't mind. A little fuzz on a coconut is totally normal. It is a little weird though. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing someone shaving a coconut before they crack it open? <laughs> That seems pretty funny to me. I don't know why. Stitch this guy up. Which I feel like would be really hard to do, right? Like stitching up a coconut? These things are hard. I got some strong scalpels and I got some really strong needles. So many rotten apples in this world I'm living in. Fruits have faces and feelings. Not enough people are eating apples, which in the context of this world is maybe a good thing. You know, like as we established, they, they probably have feelings and families and hopes and dreams and things. Things and you know, if someone just walked up to him, took a big old bite out of an apple, that would be kind of messed up. Plus all the hard work I've done, saving all these poor fruits that have fallen off of trees and been abandoned. To have it taken away so quickly by someone just walking up and chomping down on, on a life that I saved. Wait a second, was I not the one who was talking about putting these guys in the fridge and eating them later? Oh no, I've become what I fear most. Oh well, baby, is it a baby pear? Oh, a baby bear is so cute. Look at him. Oh, he's so little, but he's also very happy. He loves his mama. What's the matter? What's the matter, mom? What's what's the problem here? Look, it's your baby. You should be happy. Oh, wait, you have a open wound. <laughs> should probably get that taken care of. All right, now you can be happy. No, don't look at me. Look at your baby. Shoop. Yeah. That's the most expensive plant ever. That cost me a thousand dollars for an office plant. What's wrong with you? Why? <laughs> it's rude to say, but orange. You gotta let let go, man. You got you got just like gross stuff going on. Like if there's if there's obviously something on the surface of that fruit going on that's bad, you know it's gonna be pretty gross on the inside, right? This is it. It's just a plum with a pimple that needs to be popped. You really need a doctor for this? Maybe maybe because they don't have thumbs. That's the problem. I did just realize that these poor fruit people, they only have circles for hands. They have no fingers. How do you pick stuff up? What a cruel world. <gasps> Baby banana! Look at 
how cute he is. I love the little babies. They're so adorable. I love how I'm just going to place this baby banana right next to the worm that I just took out of its mom. It's your brother. Look, your siblings. You're going to live a long and happy life annoying each other forever. It's going to be great. More fruit pimples. I hate it. Any fruit babies? No, no fruit babies. Just worms. I mean, technically, they're fruit babies, right? You want to keep the worms? Probably not. Raise them like your own? More strawberries with worms. It's becoming a serious issue. People biting into strawberries. Oh, gosh. Just the thought of that. Biting into a strawberry and being greeted with a bunch of little worms. Oh, gosh. Okay. I love saving fruit babies. I don't think I'm cut out for the whole worm thing, though. I'm, I'm going to go barf. Cute baby, though.